guys, I hope you're all doing well. So, in my last video, I unboxed two vintage designer handbags. This one here is a beautiful canvas Celine tote, and then this one here is the Gucci Diana tote. So, in today's video, I am going to attempt to remove the sticky residue from the inside of this bag. So I've put my hair up, I've taken all my jewelry off, I've put on an old t-shirt, because I think this is going to be quite a messy job. Um, I have watched YouTube videos of other girls trying to remove sticky residue from Gucci bags, but it, it's really hard to find. Like, there's not a lot of videos on it. So I'm going to attempt to do it myself, but I thought I would film it for you guys as well, um, just because if you ever want to try to do it yourself, you can maybe refer to this. So when I received this bag, the outside condition is perfect like the structure is amazing um, it still has all of its feet the hardware is beautiful the bamboo handles have uh, they are known to kind of stretch out this way and you can see that it's creating quite a lot of tension here on these parts of the leather which is what all that noise is about like I don't know if you can hear that but I think it's because of the amount of tension so on the re-editions of these bags, they do have like a little um, belt for each of the straps to keep the bamboo in um, to stop it from warping. So I had a look on Gucci and I thought, oh, maybe I'll just buy those parts. They were $500 for two of them. So I jumped onto eBay and I was like, you know what? They look a lot like dog collars. <laughs> so I jumped on eBay and bought two black leather dog collars. Um, quite large ones with gold buckles. So they are on their way. They should be here next week So once I put those on I'll show you guys what they look like um, over on my Instagram Instagram is where I kind of do my more casual updates So anyway, they are yet to arrive But in the meantime, I do plan to kind of cinch these in with like a ribbon or something just to help them Just to take that stress off these parts of leather but anyway I'm going to take you out into the dining area because that's where I'm going to attempt to clean this bag and I have purchased a bunch of cleaning products because I've never done it before. All different videos suggested different things so I kind of just bought all the products and I'm hoping to trial them all today and that way hopefully by the end of the video you guys will one know how to do it yourself and two know which products actually work. So what I've done is I put these gloves on. Now if you want to hold on to your gloves and not dispose of them after I would recommend using disposable gloves because it is going to be very hard now to remove this black sticky stuff from these gloves so I'll use these for the bag um, but once I finished removing all the sticky stuff these will be going in the bin so what I've done is I've basically laid the bag down and I've pulled the whole insert out so it is crazy how sticky this stuff is as you can see, completely stuck to the plastic tablecloth. Thank God I put this down. Um, so just be mindful of that. I think once I do one side, I'm going to have to maneuver the tablecloth um, so then I've got a fresh kind of part where I'm not putting the clean straight onto this sticky stuff. So I have a garbage bag here for all of the baby wipes that have been used. I get a fresh one and what I've been doing, I've only tried it once just there, just to see if it works, is taking this orange power stuff this works better than the acetone and I would prefer to use this than acetone because acetone has a very strong smell. I would rather the bag smell like orange than um, that poison kind of smell. So I've put some on there and what I'm going to do is just rub it like this and it comes off. Now I'm finding it quite difficult with these because they really do roll up quite quickly. So what I'm going to do is try with a cloth and we'll see if that works better. So this is an old polishing cloth that I've used um, on some other bags and I'm just going to use the orange stuff for a little bit like that and rub the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a time lapse on and I'm just going to keep scrubbing this. I'm gonna put some YouTube on in the background and I'll check back in once I've done a lot more. Now 
couple of days later I wanted to give the bag a chance to completely dry I didn't want to be moving on to the next stage until it was as dry as it could be so yeah it's been a couple of days and I can tell you now it is completely dry the leather is dry the inside pockets and everything are completely dry so with the inside of that bag and that sticky black residue it's almost similar to the consistency of like a thick not an oil but if you had oil on your hands and you run it under clean water it won't come off but the moment you add soap or any detergent it comes off straight away that's exactly the way it worked within that bag so basically what I ended up doing is filling this bucket with warm water I had the sard bar of soap and I was basically dipping this in warm water rubbing the bar of soap and cleaning the inside of the bag with the insert pulled out as far as possible and giving it a really good clean. This part would almost go black. I would rinse it in the water and it would come out like this again and I would just keep doing that. And then once I would do it for as long as I could and it was kind of turning into a bit of a gray foam, I would rinse the actual bag. And that's why I moved to the sink because sitting down at a bench, it was getting quite messy and quite, um, there was a lot of soap around and I thought, you know what, I need to move to the sink. So I laid the bag on the side and I used the nozzle to not only was I scrubbing but then I would rinse it kind of straight away now from doing that process I didn't realize at the time but water was kind of splashing onto the bench underneath the bag and the bag for the whole hour hour and a half was sitting in a very thin layer of water I should have laid a tea towel down or a towel and I will, if I ever do it again, that's what I'll do and that's what I suggest you do, just to help the bag just from getting wet on the outside. So getting in the corner, so I'll show you the inside of the bag now. Um, this is the inside, this is what it looks like. This is the color I was aiming for. So it is completely clean. It is probably the texture of flannelette. It's that kind of texture and there is nothing left on this. No stickiness, no color. And I kept going. That is the color the whole way around. So obviously cleaning this part was quite easy. Lay it out, give it a scrub, wet it, wring it out. Like by the end of it, I was just wringing it out. I was being quite rough. But getting into these parts here was quite hard and that's what I mean about not getting the leather wet. In order to scrub along here, I was, you know, scrubbing with the um, brush and this leather part and the leather parts around were getting wet. But I did manage to clean the bag completely. So in the bag, as you can see, it's quite intricate in there. There's all of these parts that are attached that don't fully pull out and it's not super easy to clean. So I did have to get in there. The leather did have to get wet. But now when I use this bag, I can throw anything in there. I can pull it out. There is no residue, no stickiness, no color, no flaking, nothing. It is completely clean. So originally with that black coating, it was obviously quite stiff inside and quite structured. Now that all of that's been removed, it's this floppy kind of, of, um, cloth which is kind of annoying you know when you look in your bag it's kind of you've got this beautiful structured bag and on the inside it's all kind of um, loose but I don't know I am still thinking about potentially remo removing that lining and putting an insert in I know that would be functionality would be on point but as you can see on the inside here you have the Gucci tag with um, the authenticity code and that's obviously all attached to the um, interior kind of lining so if I remove that I remove the the authenticity code so I will leave it but it's just something that I've thought of I thought oh gee that would be nice with just that completely removed and just have an insert inside so that's the bag all clean it worked I am so so happy it's absolutely stunning this bag this part got really really wet but it's quite a thick leather and it's fine so this is the closure you simply put, put everything you want inside shut it like that and just clip the button and there's the bag so you've got a bit of a closure now with the handles they get got wet but it didn't seem to be an issue they were absolutely fine those collars are on their way I can't wait for them to arrive and again I'll show you those um, on my Instagram when they do arrive now it is time to clean the rest of the bag so I've completely let it dry I didn't want to put any conditioner or anything on the leather while the leather was still a little bit wet I didn't want to be sealing anything if there's any kind of wetness in the leather because I didn't know if that was going to create mold or just 
create issues down the track. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a cloth with more of that orange kind of stickiness remover and I'm going to go over it with a like a fine tooth comb. I'm just going to make sure that there's no blackness because that sticky stuff is messy. It was on the bottom of my feet. It just got kind of everywhere. So if you can do it outside, do it outside. I mean, I had big drop cloths and everything, thank God, but it did get everywhere. So it did kind of end up sometimes on the outside of the bag just through the whole process. So I'm going to go around and make sure that there's no stickiness or blemishes on the bag. It doesn't really look like it, but I'm just going to do that. And then what I'll do is I'll go over with a leather cleaner and then a leather conditioner. So I've got this sticky residue remover. I've got a little cotton bud. Um, there's really not much on the bag at all. I'm just going to pop some on here. So guys, I literally bought 101 um, different cleaning products and all you need is that sard bar of soap and some warm water um, to remove the stickiness, which is really good to know because it's not an expensive task. I cannot believe that I got this bag for 300 Australian dollars, which is less than, I think it's less than 250 US dollars. Like that's how much this bag cost me. And someone did mention in the comments in my last video that that seems like a red flag, um, that there was stickiness and the fact that I got it at that price. But guys, it's authentic. I had it authenticated. I always get all of my bags authenticated through Bagaholic. It's very easy to do. I took photos of absolutely everything the screws the hardware the authenticity code everything inside the bag itself sent it off to bagaholic 101 and it came back authentic so i am so happy that 300 australian dollars plus a little bit of work and i have this beautiful gucci work bag the, the classic Diana tote that I'll probably have in my collection forever because it really is an iconic bag. Anything that Lady Diana wore is obviously iconic. Um, so now that I have removed all of that sticky kind of residue, there really wasn't much. There was just little bits on the hardware. I'm now going to go in with this leather deep clean soap. So I just want to make sure that there is no nasties or soap or detergent left on the leather and give it a really good clean. This is a very gentle cleanser and I just picked it up from my local grocery store and I'm going to use the all rounder cloth from Luxgard. So Luxgard I've used before, um, they do, they obviously sell handbag cleaning product, um, products, but they also sent me a bunch of these cloths and I've been using them with pretty much anything to do with handbag cleaning. So this one here is the all rounder. It's quite a thin, gentle, um, soft cloth. And what I'm going to do is just spray the cloth and wipe the bag down completely. So it goes on almost like a bit of a foam. And I'm just going to go around the bag like this. And super exciting, I just got a notification this morning but that my other two designer handbags that I've ordered are arriving today. So I'll make sure I film a unboxing of those as soon as they arrive. I'm so excited. Um, those ones don't really need any fixing. Um, they're pretty much in really good condition, but I'll just show you them. And then in future videos, I'll show you what fits inside them, how I style them and just all that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because that will notify you guys when I upload a video and that one will probably be up on Sunday. So I've just brought you guys in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to be using this Luxgard polishing cloth and this Oakwood leather cream. So this is a hydrating leather cream. You can just get it from your local supermarket. Well, that's where I got mine from and it's an all natural kind of conditioner. So I'm just going to put a little bead of that, like a pea size amount onto this cloth and I'm going to wipe it onto the bag. Oh, I'm just going to try to use my left hand here so you guys can see. I just kind of scatter it around. And I know I'm using quite a fair bit, but I really, after the leather got wet and there was obviously cleaning products involved, I really want to make sure that this bag is very well conditioned. So now I'm just going to buff that in. there you have it guys that is the bag completely repaired I cannot believe that I have a beautiful vintage Gucci Diana tote in my collection for only $300 so if you're looking at a vintage bag and it has sticky residue on the inside this is your sign to try and repair it yourself 
Keeping in mind that it does take a little bit of time and effort, so you want to be getting that bag for an absolute bargain. And I can assure you, this is not the last time you will see this bag. If you follow me on Instagram, I plan to do a lot of styling kind of reels and outfit of the days. And then I also plan to film a couple more videos in the future, a what's in my work bag video featuring this one. And then I also plan in a couple of months time to do an in-depth review of the bag. That way you guys can hear a little bit more about the actual functionality of the bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you stick around for my handbag unboxings this weekend and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys!